We will talk about water on the lungs or fluid in the lungs. It is called pleural effusion. This fluid in the lungs should not be here in normal cases and when it accumulates in ple between pleural layers it is called pleural effusion. We will discuss most common symptoms of pleural effusion and most common causes of pleural effusion. Most common symptom is chest pain. In 90% of cases pleural effusion we have chest pain and this chest pain is tubbing and it's severe pain and especially painful when person is coughing or maybe laughing or coughing or deep breathing this chest pain intensity increases second most common symptom is shortness of breath and difficulty breathing in 70 percent of cases we have shortness of breath shortness of breath occurs because of accumulation of fluid and it restricts uh, breathing normal breathing and we have difficulty breathing especially when person is lying down for him it's more difficult to breathe uh, that's why such people usually use several pillows under their head to keep their position half sitting because they can't lie down and um, and breathe freely that's why shortness of breath is more prominent when person is lying down it is called orthopnea another another signs are diminished breath sounds when auscultate pa patient during auscultation there is diminished breath sounds in the place where there is fluid in the lungs and we can visualize this fluid in the chest with x-ray with CT scan and sometimes with uh, ultrasound you can see here is pneumonia and we have fluid here now let's say uh, what is the most common causes of pleural effusion first and most common cause is pneumonia especially among young adults if person has pleural effusion especially young person uh, young adults with high probability it's because of pneumonia most likely diagnosis when person young person has pleural effusion is pneumonia and person will say that he had cold or flu uh, he or she has symptoms like fever chills cough and one-sided pleural effusion and usually this effusion is exudate exudate means that this fluid uh, in the pleura is full of proteins and bacteria and white blood cells it is called exudate this fluid is not clear this fluid is full of proteins and white blood cells and different types of cells inflammatory cells so first and most likely diagnosis person with effusion pleural effusion is pneumonia usually is bacterial pneumonia coughing also is common symptom in this case and coughing increases intensity of chest pain second most likely diagnosis but first most likely diagnosis among older adult is heart failure heart failure uh, people after 65 if person has pleural effusion we have 60% probability that it's because of heart failure and when person has pleural effusion he or she usually have other symptoms of heart failure such as shortness of breath fatigue leg swelling it's common symptom and mm, ascites also fluid in the abdominal cavity is also common uh, in case of heart failure and uh, tachycardia or 
uh, rapid heart rate uh, because uh, heart tries to compensate uh, its weakness and such people difficulty to laying flat as we already said because of pleural effusion and why this pleural effusion happens because uh, when person has heart failure heart is unable to pump blood effectively it means increased pressure in veins and increased pressure in veins causes increased ca capillar permeability and fluid leaks from capillars uh, and fluid leaks into abdominal cavity on pleural cavity and in the legs and we have this swelling and we have pleural effusion also <clears throat> and third most common cause of pleural effusion and more um, more serious uh, serious is other also uh, including pneumonia and heart failure but a more deadly cause is cancer um, usually because of lung cancer and breast cancer cancer causes pleural effusion and usually it's this effusion is unilateral it means that effusion we have only one side one sided and um, person has usually history of cancer and it's not new for person but this pleural effusion in case of cancer develops rapidly quickly for example in several weeks while in case of uh, heart failure it develops in many months slowly it's very slowly process pleural eff effusion in case of heart failure is very slowly process and pleural effusion is bilateral in both lungs both uh, part of uh, body it's bilateral and in case of cancer we have unilateral K uh, cancer cases also more common after 65 before 65 it's very rare before 65 usually it's because of pneumonia also other conditions can cause um, pleural effusion like trauma like autoimmune disorders uh, systemic lupus erythematosus or rheumatoid arthritis or pulmonary embolisms so different types of disease can cause uh, pleural effusion but most common is pneumonia second most common is heart failure and cancer that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now